Hi guys, so as you can see, we're going over to Step Over Ronaldo today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this video fairly short because I just want to kind of demonstrate how to do it and make sure you have enough information to start practicing it yourself and you know what the components and mechanics behind it are. So I'm going to show you some footage of me doing it, of Ronaldo doing it, um, how you can practice it, and I'm also going to break it down a little for you too. Okay, the first thing about Ronaldo's stepovers is that they're really, really fast. He concentrates very much on speed when he's doing his stepovers. You'll notice that his feet are almost like a blur when he's doing them, and he'll usually do more than one at a time, but not always. Sometimes when he's most effective with this move, he'll just do it uh, one time, and I'll show an example uh, coming up here. Um, he'll just do it one time, quick step over, and beat his opponent. Sometimes he'll do three or four. Um, I don't recommend that you do three and four, but you can if you want. Now, obviously, to get good at this, it's going to take a lot of practice. You know, Ronaldo is well known as someone who practices hours upon hours upon hours every day. Uh, so what, the reason his stepovers are so good is because he's put in those, you know, I can't even imagine how many hours practicing this move. So if you want to get good at it like Ronaldo, you're going to have to be practicing this, you know, every day pretty much. But even after a week of practicing this every single day, you're going to notice a uh, very uh, visible improvement. You're going to notice some significant changes. So there are two styles to the step over that I like to go over. One is just a regular step over, uh, running step over, where the ball's already rolling as you're moving forward and you do your step over. And the second is going from a stop uh, a standstill to a moving uh, step over and what this one entails is you touching the ball with the inside of your foot quickly wrapping your foot around it and then going out um, the other way this is the one I think Ronaldo's uh, very well known for because he's very good at even when the ball stops being able to still skill his opponent um, which is really hard to do when the ball is stationary but he's still able to uh, pull off the move very effectively all right, guys, so like I said, this was going to be a very short video, so we're going to leave it at that. Remember, look at some of the uh, examples I gave you and look at, uh, you know, what's going on behind the step over. Make sure you're getting that lean in, that touch. Make sure you're really uh, um, getting the speed in there, too. That's one of the uh, things that makes Ronaldo's step over so dangerous. Okay, so make sure you like this video, share it with your teammates and uh, friends uh, so we can get exposed and they can learn how to do the Ronaldo step over as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and you're not subscribed to Simply Soccer. We release three to five videos now every week in order to help you improve as a soccer player. And uh, guys, make sure you follow on Instagram and Facebook as well, linked in the description and Snapchat actually, um, because we're going to be doing giveaways, other things like that, and be giving you extra advice along the way. And also my email list because I'll be giving you stuff on the VIP uh, VIP list that you don't get anywhere else. Okay, guys, so get out there and start practicing this, and I'll see you on the next video.